Hey folks, so I did kind of a house call, kind of a pre, pre garage sale pick basically. I uh, had a fellow come into the store, a local fellow, and uh, they had some stuff that they were wanting me to look at, and they were having a garage sale as well, uh, town wides are tomorrow, so I'm prepping for that. And uh, anyway, so they had some stuff for me to look at that they'd set aside. And uh, this is the, some of the stuff. So I've got a Peters Victor shot shell case. Um, in this condition, worth about $65, something like that. Um, in better condition, I, with the base kind of intact and a lid, I think they're around 100 or more. So, yeah. So I was happy to get that. This is a U.S. made one, not a Canadian one, but uh, still should sell. Uh, got a Coca-Cola one as well. A uh, little Coleman propane type. Or maybe not propane. No, I guess it's not propane, is it? It is it is kerosene. It's a little guy. Anyway, I'll have to uh, check it out. And they had it pre-priced at $5, so I grabbed it. Um and this tin barn as well uh, is missing some pieces though so it's mainly parts and we did get some plastic toys with it and then I got five of these cast iron base restaurant stools they're out of a local hotel that was torn down a few years back uh, about six years ago or so um, so I got them and the army gas can from 42 so it's actually a uh, world war ii one there i have a couple others that look identical but they're actually from the 1950s so yeah these jerry cans are um the world war ii ones are in demand apparently for jeeps and that sort of thing um i haven't had any luck selling them personally but eh, you never know um then also got a Stanley Plain, right there, uh, number four, I think it is. Um, you got a couple, or a couple. Got a bunch of oil cans, uh, brass nozzle, a little tiny um, Exacto type plane, and the tins. Uh, three of them are these mobile style ones here. One SO. Uh, SO Lube XD, which is a transitional tin, so from the 70s when they were starting to do leaders, and then this mobile tin as well. So, and they're all Canadian cans. And I've uh, got this coal scuttle Fluger reel with a steel rod, little yellow pitcher, uh, West Clocks. Uh, pocket watch is this which is no real big deal or anything But uh, it does work. So, you know people do want them when they're working and this nice SO lighter although it's is jammed here uh, Probably could be fixed, but uh, is what it is good advertising lighter anyway from 1960 and Then for free I got a singer sewing machine table these are card tables that were meant for the singer featherweight sewing machine they've got a well you can see the mechanism on the back part of the top part pops off so watch for these because they look like regular card tables like a heavy duty card table but they're not they're meant for quilters to use for the uh, singer featherweights so yeah these are couple hundred dollars basically in nice condition this one is far from nice condition so I'll put it up maybe a marketplace at a cheap price and maybe somebody will buy it to refinish or clean up and uh, use anyway that's what I got um, oh and I almost forgot it was right out in front here uh, table hockey game this one's a little different um, usually the ones in demand are the ones with players with teams on them these are kind of generic but still might be a decent game is kind of worse for wear and needs a good clean so 
but it's it is complete so that's all right or as far as i know it's complete so i did local townwide sales uh it wasn't a, a lot of sales around uh it was a dozen i think total a lot of kids clothes baby clothes that sort of stuff but did get a few things uh including this 70s mushroom lamp um does have a crack in it but uh she charged me a dime so 10 cents i gave her a dollar and told her to keep the change so anyway uh also got this mid-century modern uh magazine rack and it was a whole dollar as well um uh, bakelite uh cutting set uh, this doesn't belong with it, I'm sure, um, but whatever. Uh, it was two bucks, so basically a buck a piece for the um, sharpener and the uh, knife. And uh, anyway, it was a couple bucks, so that was not a big deal. A uh, piece of Pyrex for a dollar, so it couldn't pass that up. Uh, nice shape. Some depression glass, pink depression glass. I think they were a dollar for two pieces, so a couple bucks for four pieces, so that was all right. And pretty much last, but not least, uh, some hand tinted photographs from Revelstoke National Park, uh, Heather Lodge, which was open from 1939 to 1967. So, kind of a summer scene and a winter scene. And that was it. So, not a whole heck of a lot, but it was fun running around a little bit in town and then uh, opened up the shop and did fairly well sales wise in the store. So, anyway, that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.